Good morning, Quinn. Are you ready to have some fun? This week we're going to be learning about the letter T, as in truck. The number four, one, two, three, four. The color yellow, I hope you have your yellow on today. And we're gonna read a story about a special mouse and a special cookie. Let's start this morning by singing our good morning song. Good morning, Quinn. Good morning, Quinn. Good morning, Quinn. I am so glad you're here. Let's see what today is, Quinn. Aha. Can you sing this song with me? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Tuesday. Let's see how that's spelled. T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Tuesday. The month is February and the number is 23, the 23rd of February. Since we're learning about our colors, let's see if we can do our color song this morning. If I can move fast enough to keep up. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. What colors do you like? What colors do you like? Yeah. kind of goes with my card so let's try that again you ready what color what colors do you like what colors do you like i like blue sky i like green grass i like purple butterflies if you should ask i like yellow daisies red daisies too pink and orange sunset Another song that I like. I wonder if you like it too. Can you help me sing our ABCs this morning? Let me get a little closer so you can see. Okay. Let's see here. Get my board ready. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? This week, our letter is T, and it happens to be yellow, just like our color. A T is easy peasy to make. It starts with a straight line. All you have to do is a long straight line down and a short straight line across. Look at this. If you move it down here, it becomes a lowercase t. That's a capital T, and that's a lowercase t. It also looks like a cross. Jesus died on a cross. We're going to talk about that soon. We have Easter coming up. T makes a t sound as in tent. I brought out my special tent for you today. Maybe when you're at home, you can make a tent too and put a blanket over a table and you can crawl inside and have a good time with flashlights and books and maybe some stuffed animals or baby dolls. Tents are a lot of fun. That starts with T. Also, table. A table starts with T. And this is something that I need to put away for the year. Tree. 
looks like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? I like it because it's kind of snowy white, sparkly. Anyway, T for tree. Let's see what some other good words. Let's see what they are that start with T. Are you ready? This is called My Tea Book. And it's written by Jane Moncure, so that means she's the author. The pictures are drawn by Linda Hohag, and Linda is the illustrator. My tea book. Little T had a box. It was a big box. He said, I will fill my box. I will find t toys. So he's going to try to find things that start with the letter T to fit into his box. Let's see if he gets it right. You ready? Little T found a toy train. Do your brothers have a train set? He put the toy train into his box. Little T found a toy tractor. Guess where he put that toy tractor? Right into his box. Then little T found a truck. Does truck start with T? Yep. He drove the truck up, up, up. Up a tall mountain, he drove to the top, the very tip top. He found two turtles. Do turtles start with T? Yeah. One, two. In you go, turtles, he says. Then he found a toad, which is like a brown frog. In you go, toad, he says. Now the box was so full that he tripped. Oh no, down, down, down he went. And he tumbled right into a turkey. Does turkey start with T? Sure. Turkey feathers flew everywhere. So little T made a turkey feather hat. He and the turkey danced together. <laughs> little T found a tongue tom which is a drum that Native Americans used to use. He tapped that tom-tom like this. Then he found a tomahawk, which is like a pretend axe. Little T and the turkey danced some more. Then he put all these things that started with a T into the box. Then little T heard a terrific noise. He ran into a teepee, which is like the tent that I have back here. When he looked out, he saw a tiger. What sound does a tiger make? Rawr, right? Oh, he saw lots of t teeth. Teeth and tiger start with teeth. They were in the tiger's mouth. A loose tooth said the tiger please please pull my tooth oh we needed his help so little T pulled out the tooth look he tied a string around the tooth and then he pulled is that how you pull your teeth out? <laughs> little T and the tiger played with the truck and the toys in the box the train track and the tomahawk and the toad and the tom-tom and the turkey and the tractor and the turtle they had a terrific time. <laughs> All those things that start with T. Maybe this week you could find some things that start with the letter T in your house. I'm going to touch this screen because there we go. Okay. Um, it was showing me that I have an appointment later on today. Okay. I'm going to teach you a song now about a cookie because we're going to read our last story and it has to do with a mouse and a cookie. Okay. Now this song is just a silly song, but I'll teach it to you anyway. You ready? It goes like this. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Miss J stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? Mommy stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? Nathaniel stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? Tanner stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? Quinn stole the cookie 
from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? I guess nobody. Or maybe it was this mouse. We're getting ready to read this story called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. This is my mouse that goes along with the book. If you give a mouse a cookie. This um, author, the person who wrote this, the words to this book, is a famous children's author. And I think I saw you had a Valentine's book that had that was from this author. If you give a mouse a Valentine, maybe. I think you read it to me, didn't you? It was really good. Well, this one's called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask you for a napkin. Those are good manners to make sure you have a napkin when you eat or drink, right? Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. Do you ever get those around your, around your mouth? When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. Mine does. I know that's a trim. He'll probably ask for a pair of scissors. Uh-oh. I think he needs to use those with guidance. That means a grown-up or someone older standing close by just like you do. When you use scissors, only do that if your mommy or daddy are right there beside you, okay? Because they can hurt you. When he's finished giving himself a trim, I hope you don't come up to cut your own hair, right? You'll probably have someone cut it for you, right? Well, this little mouse didn't have anybody like that, so he cut his own hair. He'll want a broom to sweep up the hair. Oh, he'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. I need this mask to come to my house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. Oh, he must be really tired. You'll have to fix a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. And he'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. <laughs> he'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books. And he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. Do you ever draw one of your own pictures with paper and crayons? He'll draw a picture. Look, he has a full blank white sheet of paper. And look at all these colors he's getting ready to put on there. Let's see what he comes up with. When the picture is finished, Oh, looks like he drew a picture of his family. He'll want to sign his name. <laughs> it's a pretty good picture. With a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on, he'll want you to hang his picture on the refrigerator, which means he's going to need some scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back and look at it. And looking at that refrigerator will remind him, uh-oh, he's thirsty. <laughs> so, what do you think he's going to ask for? <laughs> He'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, what else does he does he want? He's going to want a cookie to go with it. <laughs> Maybe sometime this week you can make some cookies with your mom. <laughs> well, Gwen, thank you for joining me today. This has been fun. We'll do this again on Thursday, okay? All right, let's sing our goodbye song. Ready?